Gary, should be a special thrill and uh, privilege because it's the last career start for self-possessed. They're on the gate for the 99 Breeders' Crown three-year-old Colt Trot. There, off and trotting. Strong start along the inside. Went high tech to surge for early position. Self-possessed is eased out of there in between trotters. CR Commando and Angus Hall is headed at the top. Angus Hall will give a toe to self-possessed. There's the first pair. High tech along the inside is third. Then the other entry. CR Commando and CR Renegade complete the top five. Moving in sixth position was Devonti on up to the quarter. Moving third from last was Comet's Tail, then Raffaello Ambrosio and Cherry Hills trailed the opening quarter in 27 and 2. Angus Hall, self possessed, is brought out. Self possessed is up and moving at Angus Hall, right there on the outside, forcing the issue with CR Commando rather aggressively. And uh, High Tech is closing the gap, a tight fourth. On the inside fifth, that CR Commando, five more lengths, and Devonti struggling to keep up. Second from last is Comet's Tail ahead of Raffaello Ambrosio, and after second quarter problems, Comet's Tail has dropped out of contention. Cherry Hills to the rear of the field. Halftime was 56 and 3. Uh, self possessed leading up. Angus Hall plugging the pocket position. Hung to the outside is CR Commando. High tech moving through along the inside. Then CR Renegade completing the top five. Here comes Raffaello Ambrosio up on the outside of the flank of Devani. Ahead of Cherry Hills and again off stride. Out of contention is Comet's Tail. Self possessed and Angus Hall. High tech is moving out from third at the top of the stretch. They pass three quarters and 125 and 4. Self-possessed the leader, but still some work to do as he turns for home in the 99 British Crown three-year-old Colt Trot final. High Tech is getting perilously close to him. High Tech on the outside. Self-possessed is put to a drive. It's another favorite going down to defeat. Self-possessed has been passed. Here comes CR Renegade from an inside trip. Roaring up on the outside, Rod Allen. And CR Renegade will win it over High Tech. Angus Hall third. Then it was Raffaello Ambrosio. Self-possessed was off stride. 154 and 2. Another Breeders' Crown track record. CR Renegade. Lots of double teaming there as the entry of self-possessed in Angus Hall with Campbell and LaChance took turns in the lead, but so too did the entry here from the Allens as Rod Allen comes on late to win it after his father Carl roughed up the champion on that first over move in the backstretch, and it all pays off as C.R. Renegade comes down to the wire here, a $600,000 winning coming in. He adds the winner's share of a $588,000 purse tonight. Quite a moment here in the three-year-old Colt Trot division, and we'll have all the information from the winner's circle after these messages. Please join us after the break. Welcome back to Mohawk Racetrack as we get set to wrap up this incredible night of Breeders' Crown action. And what a way to wrap it up. We wrap it up with a bang as the Allen family strikes gold here, winning the three-year-old Colt Trot final with C.R. Renegade. And Mike, this horse has Breeders' Crown bloodlines going right through him from start to finish. Earlier in the night, we showed a flashback of his father, Royal Troubadour, getting the job done. And this one is a brother to a former Breeders' Crown winner in C.R.K. Susie as well. She was a champion, a great Great, great filly. Last year, Breeders Crown two-year-old Colt champion was CR Commando. This one, stable mate. This year, the three-year-old division to Renegade. Okay, the winning words. Dan Loisel standing by with driver Rod Allen. Yeah, I'm with Rod Allen, the uh, driver of CR Renegade, and uh, Rod uh, halfway along the backstretch. Uh, what was going through your mind? Uh, just keeping him uh, up close and not using him real hard. Trying to keep uh, as much air as I could and, uh, and follow cover as long as I could. And this this uh, stretch is really long, and it just worked out good for him. Now compare this victory with your Breeders' Crown victories uh, with CRK Susie. You can't compare them. They're the, you know two different animals, but they are brother and sister. I guess uh, this was unexpected. Susie, uh, you know, there was always expectations of her. This one was unexpected, and I was really happy. Now with self-possessed in here, how confident really, Rod, were you going into this race? I thought we were racing for second place money. I mean, that's the way it's been all year. And uh, it just worked out for my best, I guess. And in track record time, no doubt. Is it, really? <laughs> that's, uh, that's good to know, too. <laughs> Congratulations, Rod. The great performance by C.R. Renegade. Thank you. C.R. Renegade, the winner of the uh, Breeders' Crown here at Mohawk tonight in track record time, perfectly driven, driven by Rod Allen. Uh, back to you, Ken. Okay, top of the stretch, there's LaChance, LaChance on the lead with Self-Possessed. They're going to get to him, roll the tape, coming down to the wire here. 
Watch up the inside now as Campbell's looking for room there as he's driving Angus Hall looking for room. And now up on the outside, here comes your race winner, widest of all, C.R. Renegade. He has one horse to run down, and yes, going off stride, but a beaten horse before he did make the break was self-possessed. Give the win, and a legitimate win it was to C.R. Renegade. The three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot, the trophy presentation made by Norman Woolworth, owner of Clearview Stable and a member of the executive committee of the Hamiltonian Society, co-presenters Jake Howard, chairman of the board, and Barry Houston, director of racing at the Ontario Jockey Club. They congratulate a 1999 Breeders' Crown champion, C.R. Renegade. Rod Allen talked about taking the hobbles off this horse and expecting this horse to improve his overall efforts. Well, look at the stride on him coming to the end of the mile, Mike Hamilton, this Colt was really reaching and making up ground. Well, in a sport that is more business than sport at some times, it's nice to hear a comment like this. The Allen said, we're just having too much fun with this horse. We're not going to send him to stud. He'll be back to race next year at four. We're having too much fun. you got to like that. Well, Mike, one horse who will not be back next year to race is self-possessed, and Jason Portwando is standing by with his driver, Mike Lachance. Well, Mike, an unfortunate ending to the career of self-possessed. Let's get your thoughts. Did he seem right going into this race tonight? Uh, he seems he seemed okay going into the race, and uh, even in a post parade, I scored him down. He looked he looked good to me, but the track is hard, and uh, he's at the end of the uh, of the year, and he, he started to feel it now. And uh, you know, like in the last turn, he started to change his uh, his gait a little bit, and you know, he just felt that the track the track was uh, stinging him at the end a little bit. Now heading into tonight's uh, races, the much-anticipated battle. They said Blissful Hall, self-possessed. One of these two horses will be horse of the year. They both fell to defeat tonight. So what are your thoughts? Do you think your horse should be the horse of the year? Well, you're asking the wrong guy. Uh, I think he should be the horse of the year because he's a, he's a trotter. And uh, what he has done this year, uh, it's much tougher to do it with a trotter than a pacer. All right, Mike. Well, thanks very much for this. And uh, best, of, best of luck in the rest of the way in 1999. Thank you very much. All right, Kenny.